my name is Lena and welcome back to my channel. I'm gonna share the books I read for Buzzword Reading Challenge 2021. Basically, this is the challenge wrap-up. The challenge was created by Kayla from Books and Lala and I'm gonna link the channel in the description box, so go check out the new challenge for 2022. I have the pile of books beside me and I have my spread for the challenge and my reading journal open so it is easier <laughs> to see what I actually read and what the buzzwords or themes were. But let's talk about the books I read for the challenge last year. For January the buzzword was dream and this is the only book I didn't actually read in January. I started the book, but I just didn't feel like reading it and I picked it up later, like in March, I think, and actually finished the book. But the first book is Strange the Dreamer by Lainey Taylor. This is the first book in a duology and, well, I don't know what I expected from the book. I think I expected much more than I got because it is a really hyped series, but I was reading and I was struggling with the writing because it is really flowery, as people say. Despite the writing, the story I enjoyed and I will definitely finish the series. It is a story about Laszlo Strange. He is a dreamer and he works in a library and he has been obsessed with this lost city of Weep. So he is looking and trying to find all information about it that he can. And then one day people from that city show up and he joins them and goes back to that city and finds out what it is, the mystery about it. And yeah, it was interesting story, but the language does, writing style was a struggle for me. February's buzzword or theme was color and I read Zelta Buri this or Golden Cage by Aya Mikkel. This is a detective crime kind of thing by a Latvian author and I enjoyed it. It was interesting story about this detective who is trying to solve a murder of this businessman and the main suspect is his ex-wife. But the story starts really interestingly in a psych ward where the woman is being drugged. So, and those timelines kind of come together. It was really interesting. I was pleasantly surprised from what I remember. So it was enjoyable read. March was time and I read This Time Will Be Different by Mrs. Segura. This is a story about a girl who is working at her family's flower shop. But one day... Her mother has decided that the flower shop will be sold. And it is not just about that, like proving that the flower shop doesn't need to be sold, but it's about Japanese Americans and their history about the internment camps and how that has affected generations. And I really liked learning something new about history. Like I didn't, I've heard before about the Japanese internment camps in America, but I didn't know a lot about it. So this was really interesting read that wise. So I really recommend. <clears throat> April's theme was Peace Words and I read Skyward by Brandon Sanderson. This is the first book in a series and it follows Spencer who really wants to be a space cadet, I think, right? and she tries to get into the school. But she faces a lot of challenges because her father has been kind of labeled as traitor because he fled the battle and she doesn't believe it's true and she wants to find out what actually happened. So yeah, it's a story about Spencer. My favorite her character from what I remember was this space slug. It's just a slug, but for some reason it was so cute and I really enjoyed it. And this was really good read and I can't wait to continue with the series. 
May's buzzword was house slash home. And I read The Lake House by Kate Morton. This is a story set in two timelines. There is a past where in 1930s, a boy disappeared and no one knows where he went. That body was found, he just disappeared one day and it affected really badly the family of the kid. And then like 70 years later, this detective comes across that case, that house where it happened and she tries to solve it. I love those past mysteries and two timeline stories where they come together and yeah, I really, really love this book. June was Names and Titles, and I read The Wicker King by Kay Ankrum. This was a really interesting story. It's about two boys, two friends, and you can see pages turning from white to black, and it kind of reflects the mental state of one of the boys, and yeah, I don't know what else to say. It was surprising, like, the ending, what was happening there was really surprising. But yeah, it's about two friends and how far are you willing to go for your friends? I really like the format when there is some interesting additional things. But one thing that wa bothered me a bit was when the pages turned and like, it was hard for me to read at the edges when it changes for the darker and the font is still black. When it changed to white, it was, of course, easier, but yeah, I don't know. Weird note to bet. July's password was lost and I only had one book and it was an ebook and I read Every Last Breath by Juno Rajdan. This is thrillery romance thing. It was about this secret government organization and trying to acquire and stop something bad from happening. I was pleasantly surprised because I don't know what I was expecting, but it wasn't as bad as I thought. So it was really fast and kind of enjoyable read. But yeah, about a woman who is working for this secret organization and she has to work with her ex and of course old emotions and memories come back so yeah that's the romantic part but they had to stop this criminal from doing something bad so they had to join together August's theme was Time of Day, and I read The Midnight Library by Matt Haig. This is a story about a woman who doesn't want to live anymore, and she tries to end her life and gets into this kind of in-between space called Midnight Library, where she has a chance to see how her life would have been different if she had made different decisions and it's about kind of those parallel lives that we might have lived or in a parallel universe we are living so yeah interesting book september's word was dark and i read the dark prayer by natasha mostert this is a thriller about a man who is sent to kind of look into a woman who suddenly changed completely, like she is something different, like her personality changed. So, and he goes to follow her and see what's up and finds out a lot of things. And other thing is like these scientists, kind of psychologists, I think, who made some interesting experiments with memory and how that timeline goes into the present one. It was interesting, but about some twisted people who did really questionable things. 
October was Elements theme and I read Punching the Air by E.B. Zoboy and Yusuf Salam. This is about a young boy who is wrongly accused of something he didn't do and he is sent to prison. And it's about his time there and all the wrong doings of the system just because the boy is black. It was hard to read because of all those things happening without a reason. There were no reason for the things that happened to the boy he went through to happen. I'm blanking on a lot of English words right now, so I don't know how to explain it, but it was really good and I want to read more novels in verse because this one is in verse. November's word was lost and I read the Keeper of Lost Things by Ruth Hogan. The beautiful cover. The cover is so beautiful, but the book was kind of disappointing. The beginning was really interesting. This old man, he has collected a lot of lost things. Like He finds things on the street and he brings them home. He labels them, writes a story about them and just has a room full of Things. One day he dies and he leaves all those things to his assistant and gives her a task to find as many homes for those lost things as she can. And it's about that. It's about that woman and her life, how the old man, even before he died, helped her. But yeah, something wasn't there. I enjoy the cover. I will forever love the cover, but the whole book didn't do much. And December was day, week, season kind of theme. And I read Winter's Orbit by Everina Maxwell. Winter is the season. And I was waiting a whole year to read this book. I was saving it especially for December for the challenge. And it was such a disappointment. It is a sci-fi story about arranged marriage. It's a political kind of arranged marriage. And I don't really know what was the reasonings in the world for those marriages, but yeah. The first half of the book is such a miscommunication thing that I was so annoyed for like most of the book because of that, especially with the character Janan. I don't know why, I just wanted to slap him so he could stop. Of course, there are reasons why he was how he was, but still. At the end, it was more exciting, something more happened. It wasn't as slow as the beginning, but still, the overall feeling is just a disappointing. So yeah, these were all the books I read for Buzzword Reading Challenge. It was a success. If we don't count the one book, the January book, that I actually didn't finish in January, but I finished it anyway, so I'm counting it as a success. So yeah, please let me know. Did you participate in this challenge? Are you interested in doing it this year? Because I will definitely be trying to finish this challenge in 2022 too and yeah that's it <laughs> thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed and i see you in the next one bye